Hi everyone, welcome back. So, yesterday I believe I reacted to the Pasofino horse as well as the Icelandic horse that is coming out in Christmas time. Obviously, the spoilers aren't fully done yet, Star Stable's still working on them, but I just found out that Star Stable also is making new pets for Christmas. So this is the video, I'll show it on the screen. There is a pet bunny that matches the Icelandic horse, as well as an owl, very cute, and a gnome. A gnome. Now, the gnome doesn't look like our original gnome pet. I love the original gnome pet. I love the original gnome pet. Like, I really, really do. I don't really understand the whole point of making gnomes and not giving them eyes. I don't know. I painted a gnome. I will actually take a picture of it and show you it on the camera. We are going to react to the Tennessee walking horse. Okay, so I actually watched it earlier today and I have some thoughts and opinions because I really do like it, but I just want to point out some things because obviously the coat colors are amazing. Everything's amazing about it. Really great. Looks amazing. I love this horse. It's just that it looks a little stiff. You know, like, the trot is really great, it's just that the walk feels a little bit stiff. But yeah, the trot's really bouncy, really sweet, love that. I really like the canter, I feel like that's probably one of the most realistic canters we have. Also, can I just say, the horse's facial structure is so realistic. Like, genuinely looks like an actual real horse you would see. I love how Star Stable is walking away from the googly-eyed horses they're starting to look more like actual real horses. But yeah, the gates look really great, but they look a little bit stiff. The special gate, something looks wrong. I don't know what it is. It looks like, I don't know. It's like the horse is struggling or something. The jump is great. The jumps usually are. But yeah, this horse is awfully realistic. I love it. Like, I really do. The gallop is really nice. Can I just say how American this horse looks? Like, I feel like I've probably seen horses like this before at local stables. It's just that they, they really did get, like, Star Stable really did get the body structure, the facial structure, everything right about the horse. It really does look amazing. The walk is just a little bit stiff. I don't know what it is about that. But the Pasofino walk was also really stiff. The idle position is really nice. It just, it looks realistic. And I'm really glad that Star Stable is making more realistic horses because I feel like for the past few years, we've been telling them like, hey, you know, the horses look so cartoony, which people were saying, well, that's kind of expected because it's a cartoon game. And I get that totally, but there was suspicion that Star Stable was using two different horse teams, like to make horses, you know, like there'd be two groups of people to work on horses in the game. And that's why some horses were turning out amazing and the other horses were turning out not so great. Because some horses look like very cartoony, but then the next horse will be so realistic, it's so strange how there's no like consistency. But I feel like over the past year, Star Stable has really corrected that. And I feel like the recent horses we've gotten are like really, really good. Like at this point, I feel like I'm getting more happy to buy horses than get quest content because I feel like the the horses are looking so good I'm like this is really exciting because it's like they're really improving in this area I quit doing the quests by the way so I don't really care anyway I like holiday quests you know I'm really here for holidays but anyway these are the coat colors we saw them last time in the other reaction video I did but this time we could actually see them in movement they are so pretty that horse is stunning the facial structure is right, everything about it. It's that walk though, a little bit stiff, but it's really good. Can I just say how much I love the mohawk mane or roached mane? I'm not really sure how to say it, but it looks really nice. This one I am getting. I am getting this one. I believe this horse is called a sooty buckskin. I could be wrong, but he is stunning. The eyes, the facial structure, like the bone structure, told I love this horse. Everything about this breed is looking amazing. You know what, the walk kind of looks like the Pasofino walk, 
but less stiff than the Pasofino. Here is the Strawberry Roan. I really like this one. I don't have any Strawberry Roan horses in my game, so it's going to be really fun to actually get a Strawberry Roan horse for the first time I've, you know, ever gotten one. This will be the one I'm going to get. Very pretty. As we know, I'm not really a big fan of, like, white markings and stuff, but this one's really cute. I really like this one. It's that mane. This mane. The way it stands up like a zebra mane. It is so pretty. I'm really happy about this because I feel like we'll never have another horse to complain about then, you know, because I feel like two years ago is really when people started to speak up and say, hey, these horses don't look that good. Like, I was constantly seeing complaints about the Frisian horse, North Swedish horse, Fjord horse, Knapp Shepherd horse, a lot of horses. But I feel like since the recent horses have come out, a lot of people are like, wow, this is great. This is so good. You know, people are, I think, getting more excited to buy horses again because they're like, oh, it's stunning. Like, this is really amazing. I don't know. It's just something about these horses. They feel so home to me. Like, I feel like if I went to my local stable, they would have these horses there, like, ready to ride, you know? Like, their faces look so familiar. The dapple gray is stunning, by the way. It looks like a horse I really wanted to buy, but I couldn't get, <laughs> like, in real life. Because I remember there was a dapple gray horse for sale one time, and I was like, I want this horse, and then I couldn't get it, obviously. But that's fine, because we could get him in the game. Yep. The braids are so cute. These horses look so good. They look amazing. Yeah, you see what I mean? This is a perfect comparison right here. Okay, look at the Yorvik Wild, then look at the Tennessee Walking Horse. Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Listen, they are improving with the realistic features so good. Like, for real. Like, that Yor the Yorvik starter horse, I think they updated that, like, what, four years ago? So it's taken, like, four years, but the improvements over time, like, this is great. Like, this was a good thing to wait for, you know? Like, they really did improve it, which I've said before how i rather have cartoony horses in the game, but I was referring to the comic book aesthetic, you know, because I don't like cartoony horses. I like comic book cartoony horses, you know, like Starshine Legacy, um, Star Stable the season riders, you know, stuff like that. I feel like the current horses we had were very cartoony and less comic book-like because obviously Star Stable walked away from the comic book aesthetic because in case you didn't know, Star Stable made comic books for their uh, games. And since they walked away from that, the horses became less comic book-like and more cartoony. But now they're suddenly so realistic. Like, they're, they're really, they are, they're really listening to their players now, I think, when it comes to horses. Because, like, you know, people kept saying realistic horses, we want realistic horses. Where's the realism, you know? Obviously, it's not a new game feature or, like, a new content of some sorts, but to be fair, they kind of do still have to update and learn how to make horses for the game, considering that really is their income. And at this point, I don't think if Star Stable sold content... I don't really think that would make that much money, honestly, because personally for me, I'd rather pay for horses than pay for quests, because I get bored so easily, but I never really get bored of buying horses or looking at horses or any of that, because I just really like equines. But yeah, you could see the difference here, like, yes. Also, their storyline changed. I don't like the storyline anymore. I really don't. Like, I'm so sorry, but the new storyline, I just don't like it. So I'm not going to force myself to. I would rather just ride horses. But if Star Stable's going to start listening, could they please add in a decent care system? You know, because our horses that used to get tired and hungry, now they really don't. So please bring that back. We have a veterinarian in the game. Could we maybe update the horse health system? That could be cool, you know? So, this is really great. I'm really glad to see the improvements. But yeah, I cannot get over how stunning the Tennessee Walking Horse looks. Like, it genuinely is, like, so realistic. Like, that's what I mean when I say it looks familiar. It looks familiar as in I've seen it before in real life. Like, I've seen horses like this in real life before. Because Star Stable is starting to make their games, horses look so real. 
I guess that is it for today then. Let me know how you feel about the horses, the pets Star Stable is going to add for Christmas, and all of that down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!